We're joined by Wheat Kings GM and head coach Kelly McCrimmon. And uh, Kelly, a bit of a recovery, I think, for you tonight. You didn't have quite the start you wanted, but you certainly had uh, a good middle and a pretty strong finish. Yeah, you're uh, you're exactly right. We were you know down uh, one nothing and uh, then two nothing, and uh, you know we haven't been uh, we haven't had a great record this year when we've uh, when we've given up the first goal. So. I thought that uh, uh, you know we got a real key goal in the first period by Jay Fair to make the game two to one, and then uh, you know really th uh, from that point on, I thought uh, you know played pretty well the rest of the night. Do you think Kelly, the the fact you haven't played since Saturday plays into that little bit of a sluggish start? I know that as players you want to play lots and you want to play often, but you get that little bit of dead time there from Saturday on, and maybe that's the reason why you're a little bit sluggish coming out of the gates tonight. I, I felt that way, Pete, and and. Uh, you know, for our team, we've been playing steady. Uh, you know, since uh, since early in October, where we've uh, had a real heavy schedule some weeks, but uh, but at least had uh, midweek games all the way through. So, it uh, I, in fact, it was a uh, it was a concern that I had all week. Uh, you know, was that going to be the case? What kind of energy we were going to come out with uh, to start the game? And I think it was a little bit of a factor. And I think you know the way that we. Uh, rebounded and uh, you know continued to or you know began to play uh, much better. I think probably speaks to that. Uh, you got the two goals 28 seconds apart in the second period, Kelly, which tied and and eventually gave you the lead at that uh, moment in the game. And it was interesting, I thought, because the first was four on four uh, with Glenny and Lawadniak, who haven't played a lot together uh, out as your forwards. And then uh, when you got back to five on five, Michael Furling kind of joined him up front. So it was a bit of a a hodgepodge as far as uh, the line combinations at that particular moment, but it seemed to work out pretty well. Yeah, that uh, that did. I thought Scotty Glenny did some good things uh, tonight, and that you know that shift there with uh, with Lawadnik, I thought he played well. And you know, as it turned out, the four and four was a pretty key stretch uh, in the hockey game because of the fact we, you know, we did score, uh, you know, right uh, right at that time or just after we got the. Uh, you know the goal to, to take the lead with uh, with uh, Michael Furland and then uh, in Shannon Glenny. I'm not sure who actually uh, put the fourth one in, but it was a big goal to give us uh, to give us a two goal lead when you know really for quite a bit of the night we've been playing from behind. Kelly, I was excited for Jacob Desairs tonight because I thought he was real solid, great rebound control tonight, and I think he deserves full marks for this victory as well. I agree. I thought he was uh, was excellent and. Uh, it's interesting, and Bruce uh, uh, could speak to it from uh, being at all of our games. Uh, Jake has played, uh, I think, extremely well on the road. I think he's been a star on the road just about uh, every game uh, that we've played. Our last game in Moose Jaw, he was, uh, was the first star. And yet at home, I, I think he's really looked out of sorts. Uh, uh, you know, we came home from the uh, U.S. trip and then Cranbrook and Lethbridge. We came home, we played three of the games. Uh, on that five-game home stand, and uh, you know, I didn't think ever uh, played as well at home as what he had on the uh, on the road. And then, you know, I think uh, I just caught the tail end of yourself and Bruce talking uh, about the goaltending rotation. I, I think that we've had better goaltending now, uh, you know, really since our game in Swift Current when we went back to back with uh, Andrew Hayes, then gave him the third one uh, consecutive against uh, Calgary, where I thought Andrew played real well. Went back with Jake in. Uh, Moose Jaw, where he played uh, real well, and for me, Jake could have been a star here uh, again tonight. So uh, that's encouraging to see uh, those two guys, uh, you know, lifting their level of play and you know being a big part of our win because I thought uh, I thought Jake made some really good saves uh, in tonight's game where we gave up some dangerous chances. Pete and I did our best because we both had him on our list as far as the three stars are concerned. Yeah, uh, I thought he, I thought he was real good uh, all night, and and uh, you know just you know the timing of some of those saves early in the third period, uh, you know the Shen line. Who are our best line? A lot of nights they gave up some real dangerous chances in the third period, and I thought that uh, you know he uh, he made good saves to uh, to keep us to preserve our two goal lead. And probably could have been worse than a two nothing deficit too if he hadn't made some stops in the first. I thought. Yeah, I think well. you're exactly right, and you know we we you, you, you notice uh, every time uh, you let in a bad goal, it uh, it's something you seem to notice, and you, and I just uh, you know I don't want to make the mistake of taking those real key saves uh, for granted because they're a big big part of the game. Uh, Kelly, uh, uh, this is your fourth straight win, longest uh, winning streak you've had uh, so far th this season. That has to feel good to, to finally be able to string some wins together. Well, it's important because that's what it's going to take to uh, uh, to move uh, in the conference. There's uh, so many good teams, and you know everybody's going to get their share. So to uh, to have any uh, significant uh, move in the standings, you're going to have to win. You know, you're going to have to have a you know a stretch of ten games where you're eight and two or you know that type of thing if you want to uh, try to gain ground or distance yourself uh, from teams uh, that are behind you. 
And I think that uh, I think we talked in the in the pregame show with the with the win tonight. I think now that's five losses in our last uh, 18 games, which goes right back to uh, that home game against Kamloops prior to our uh, road trip. And I think that's a decent stretch. You know, I think that that's uh, you know that that demonstrates that you know we're uh, we're getting better. We've had some uh, better consistency to our game. I think we expect to win. Uh, when we come to the rink, you're not going to win every night, but I think that we're giving ourselves a chance uh, with the way that we're playing. Kelly, you know, I thought the fair line was really instrumental tonight, especially in the second period for you. And, you know, so often, obviously, you want consistency from all four lines if that's uh, a perfect world for you. And so often we put a lot of pressure on the Shen line to be our number one line night after night. But I thought the fair line stepped up tonight and, and took that roll over for a night. So it's probably a good feeling to know that any line can jump in at any given moment and give you that little extra spark. I thought that the fair line was our first line uh, to get going tonight. They had a, a real good shift uh, right off the bat, their first shift. If you remember, Jay Fair had the uh, unbelievable chance that, uh, uh, in fact, when he got that chance early in the game, I, I think that there was almost a little bit of an expectation that we'll just get a bunch of those chances and it's just a matter of time until we scored, which, of course, uh, didn't end up being the case. But I thought their line was, uh, was real good from... Uh, from puck drop right uh, right through and you know let's uh, let's be honest I think that you know tonight's game is going to be a bit of a challenge for Braden Shen to be uh, the Braden Shen that we're uh, used to seeing just given uh, you know just given uh, what's gone on in his life uh, this week think about it and put yourself in in those shoes with uh, you know uh, not just being three games and three nights as Bruce and I talked on the pregame show it's uh, you know representing your league and uh, uh, you know, a preview, uh, you know, for the World Junior Selection Camp, and then it's your first NHL game right out of the blue, not uh, not on the radar at all when he left uh, Brandon and then travel home today, get here just for game time for a game tonight. So uh, I think we got one guy that'll uh, sleep good tonight, and, and uh, you know, he has to, you know, rebound and uh, give us what he can uh, for tomorrow, but it was really important, uh, as, as uh, you've touched on, for... Uh, Luray Fair and Lewodniak to be as, uh, as consistent and, uh, uh, and dominant tonight as they were. That's Kelly McCrimmon, the Wheat Kings GM and head coach here.